Hi everyone, this is the solution to example 5 on rotated vessels. Here's the problem. An open top right circular cylinder 0.6 meter in diameter and 1.5 meters high is two-thirds full of water. The tank is rotated about its vertical axis. <laughs> Determine the amount of water spilled in liters for the following cases. Angular speed of 150 revolutions per minute. The pressure at the bottom center is 2 kilopascals. And angular speed of 240 revolutions per minute. So this is the figure. Let's draw the figure first. Radius 0.3 meter and height 1.5. Two thirds of 1.5 is 1 meter. So therefore this empty depth is 0.5. Now if the height of the paraboloid is because the maximum height of paraboloid without spilling any liquid is times 2 of k times 2 of 0.5, so 1 meter. If the height of the paraboloid is less than or equal to 1 meter, then there will be no liquid that will be spilled. There will be no water that will be spilled. If the height is greater than 1, then certain amount of liquid will be spilled. So please be reminded of that. So formula for H is 0 0.0, H1.0005589 omega square radius square. So omega in number 1 is 150 RPM and radius is 0.3. So H sub 1 is 1.132 meters. So this is greater than 1, therefore certain volume of liquid will be spilled. Now the analysis, so that's 1.132. The analysis is... Because this is air, the volume of liquid or water spilled would be the difference between the volume of this paraboloid with one base and the original volume of water uh, air, which is pi 0.3 squared times 0.5. So that is, let's solve for the volume first. Volume spilled is pi over 2 times 0.3 square times height 1.132 minus original volume of air pi times 0.3 square times 0.5. Then the whole of these two terms should be multiplied by 1000 to convert it to liters. So volume spilled in part 1 is 18.66 liters. For the second question, pressure at bottom center is 2 kilopascals. So we must compute this depth here at the bottom center, call that HBC. So since the pressure at all points on this imaginary parabolic surface is zero, so the pressure at the bottom center is simply gamma of water times HBC, then equate it to 2. So 2 kilopascals is gamma of water, specific weight of water times HBC. So HBC is 0 0.2039 meter. So that means the height of this paraboloid is 1.5 minus 0 0.2039. And that is equal to 1.296 meter, which is again greater than 1. Therefore, certain amount of water will be spilled. So calculating in the same manner as this. So quantity pi over 2.3 square times 1.296 minus original volume of what? water which is uh, sorry original volume of air which is pi 0.3 square times 0.5 then quantity times 1000 so volume spilled is equal to 45.85 liters then for angular speed of 240 rpm let's compute for h3 0.0005589 240 square times 0.3 square h sub 3 is 2.897 so that means it is greater than 1.5. So the imaginary parabolic surface exposes the bottom and it extends beyond the bottom center in the figure shown. So the total height of this is 2.897. So therefore 2.897 minus 1.5 is this height below the bottom. So 1.397. Then we will call the radius here because the final air is represented by a paraboloid of revolution of two bases and we have an available formula for that call this r sub 3 
So volume final of air minus volume initial, that would be the volume field. While the volume final is pi over 2 quantity R square plus R3 square times big H, then minus original volume of air pi R square times K, which is 0.5. So by squared property parabola to solve for R3, 1.397 as R3 square equals 2.897, the height of this imaginary parabolic surface, as to radius 0.3 square. So R3 square is equal to 0 0.044 square meter. Take note, this is R3 square, it's not R3. So volume field is equal to pi over 2 quantity R square plus R T square times big H minus original volume of air, which is pi R square times K, where R is 0.3 and K is 0.5. So substitute volume field is pi over 2 quantity 0.3 square plus 0 0.044 for close times 1.5 minus pi times 0.3 square times 0.5. So volume field for this case is equal to 0.1729 cubic meter. Then times 1,000 in liters, 172.9 liters. So that's it. I hope that you were able to follow the solutions.